How to lose weight one pound at a time. Are you lost, confused, unsure, unclear, perfect, disoriented, bewildered? So many people reach out to us and ask these very questions. Let's get to the very heart of the matter. Appetite and hunger. It has to do all with hormones. As you can see, the vicious cycle of uh, uh, insulin, the liver, the muscle, the pancreas, increment, intestines, girdlin, leptin, abdotos tissue, all these things work together to go to your brain and tell your brain that you need to eat more. By cutting down the wrong types of food, the wrong things that get your insulin up, because they call it an insulin high or comfort food, or when you're depressed, or all these other things working in your brain. So it really comes down to your brain controlling your stomach. And there are many things you can do to make it easier. First thing is drinking water before meals doubles weight loss. Drinking water plus 30 minutes before meals is three times per day. Drinking 500 milligrams of water three minutes before meals three times a day equals twice as much weight loss over a 12-month period. Water is the secret formula to weight loss. So did you know drinking water before meals doubles weight loss? A word to the wise, get in the habit of drinking water before your meals, everywhere you go. Now, some of the best food to eat for weight loss are almonds, cinnamon, because cinnamon controls blood sugar, apple cider vinegar. I drink apple cider vinegar every day brown rice instead of white rice, have watermelon, grapes, lima beans, romaine lettuce, turkey, celery, lemons and limes, salmon, sweet peppers. These things will cause your body to uh, go into more metabolism and burn more fat. Especially almonds, cinnamon, apple cider vinegar, those three items alone will change your life. Rather than having cake and candy and stuff like that around the house, have almonds. Uh, I enjoy uh, fresh peanuts, uh, cinnamon every morning with my oatmeal, apple cider vinegar. I have it with my Metamucil every morning because these things help the body burn. The other thing is the fat loss pyramid. You know, at the bottom should be a good sleep. Your body biochemically cannot burn fat without proper regenerative sleep. Mindset. You must see and believe in what you want to look like before you ever get there. So, you have to do like a, uh, a dream board. You have to see yourself as already lost the weight. And you have to get in the habit of having eight hours of sleep. You know, don't get a phone before you go to sleep. Uh, take uh, uh, Don't drink anything before you go to sleep because it's going to cost you to go to the bathroom. Try to avoid coffee more than 12 hours before you go to sleep. And if you have a soda or a coffee, make sure it's decaffeinated. Nutrition alone accounts for the vast majority of your fat loss. It precedes all exercise, daily activity. Daily activity like walking, hiking, basic movements is necessary to lose weight. This is not exercise. This is your baseline activity. Get in the habit of walking up the stairs as opposed to park your car far from the door to the supermarket. Park your car for where it forces you to walk some more. Don't avoid walking. I personally get on a treadmill every morning for half an hour. I put on an audio tape, some motivational stuff, and I do my treadmill. And once you get in the habit of doing it, you don't feel good unless you do. Formal exercise. This is the last and least important weight loss tip. Exercise only effective once the other elements are in place. You cannot exercise bad nutrition, inadequate sleep, or a crappy mindset. So this is the really nuts and bolts of weight loss. You have to have the mindset to do it and the determination. You have to sleep. Believe it or not, you burn a lot of calories while you sleep because your body is regenerating every night. 
Nutrition alone accounts for the vast majority of your fat loss. It precedes all exercise, so garbage in, it becomes fat. Let's look at this um, uh, daily physical activity. You know, you, you should have a baseline of daily activity, whole grain bed, pasta, rice, gatrus, polenta, guancola, and other grains of potatoes. You know, uh, the bread and uh, potatoes especially have gotten a bad rap. They're not bad. What's bad is the way you cook them. And every day you should get in the habit of having fruits. I personally have a hard time with that one because I'm a single person and uh, it's, it's hard to keep fresh fruit. But don't buy a lot. Just buy a day's worth or two days' worth. And nuts and legumes. You know, uh, I got into the habit now of having peanuts around all the time. I buy them in uh, a large bag and uh, they're, they're already peeled, and uh, they're, they're very good for you. Vegetables, have broccoli, uh, pickles, uh, peppers, tomatoes. You know, a tomato is shaped like the heart. It has four chambers. Olive oil, you can't get anything better in your body than olive oil. Cheese and yogurt, fish and seafood. You know, the, you see how this pyramid is going up. It's going from bread whole wheat, uh, things like that, into fresh fruit, then olive oil, then cheese and yogurt, and then fish, then poultry, then eggs, then sweets, and the last thing is meat. So drink water, wine in moderation, but drinking water will, will satisfy, because a lot of times we eat thinking we're hungry, when in reality we're really thirsty. So here's a guide on hand guide for portion control. Portion control is key to losing fat and your hands are the perfect tool for keeping your positions in check or your portions in check. I've created this hand guide to help you stay honest when it comes to serving sizes. Uh, one cup is a fist. Half a cup is an open palm or cupped hand. Serving size, three ounces. The visual aid is your palm. Is three ounces. Serving size, one tablespoon, is your thumb. Serving size, six inches, is the whole hand. So these are the ideas. You want to keep portion control. Think of this. Uh, uh, one cup, best for curry, dal, rice, cooked vegetables, beans, tea, coffee, cereal, casserole, soup, fresh fruit, salad, sprouts, popcorn, yogurt, one fistful. Service size, best for pasta, potatoes, pudding, ice cream, walnuts, and almonds. See, a handful. Best for uh, beef, chicken, pork, poultry is three ounces. Service size, best for salad dressing, peanut butter, cheese, cream, mayonnaise. The six inches, the hand, the full hand. Best for bread, roti. Paranta, idali, pita bread, pizza, sandwich, and a burger. That's how much you should have between having potatoes and a hamburger. Now, 100% guaranteed weight loss plan to help you lose 16 pounds in one month. You have to have a breakfast. Uh, half a lemon, one, half gla one glass water, a boiled egg, a table of fat or sour cream, one slice of whole wheat bread, one glass of zero-fat milk. Snacks. This is vital. Add fruits to your, to your life. Tomato, uh, oranges, apples, bananas, it's, uh, and water. Glasses of water. Try to, try to get that in your head. Water is crucial if you want to lose weight. Uh, for lunch, water, vegetable salad, a soup, grilled chicken, a grilled meat. And the, you notice the word is grilled. Not fried, but grilled. Because this is the healthiest way to ingest meat. Snacks. You choose one fruit with two glasses of water. Some pineapple or an orange or an apple or kiwi. For dinner, eat last meal at 6 p.m. Six 
milligrams of water or a boiled egg, two slices of whole wheat bread, one tablespoon of sat fat, low zero fat cream, one slice of fat, uh, zero fat white cheese. Now, there's a lot of controversy about the myths and, and things about weight loss, so I'm going to get into that now. Carbs are fattening. No. The truth is carbs or carbohydrates are main source of fuel for the body. Complex carbohydrates such as fruits and vegetables are good for health as compared to simple carbohydrates such as sugars. That's why cake, crackers, uh, uh, cookies, all that stuff is simple carbohydrates that turn right into sugar once you ingest it. Physical activity should be done for long periods of time. Truth. Longer periods of physical activity are not needed for fat loss. Shorter duration of intense activities spread over the week can help. Like I said, I personally do half an hour treadmill every day. It gets my body going, gets my brain going. So it's something you might look into. Three, I can never gain weight if I eat a healthy diet and exercise daily. Truth. One should eat and exercise as per the age. With age, the metabolism slows down, so you should either eat less or exercise more to stay away from gaining weight loss calories. Four, I can lose weight by skipping meals. Truth, skipping meals may lower your metabolism, resulting in burning of fewer calories. The excess will be stored as fat. Skipping meals can also make you hungrier causing excess intake of calories in the next meal. And we're all guilty of that. We take too long to eat something, our sugar goes down, our body demands more uh, sugar, and the, the insulin goes up, and you get that sugar high, and we've all been through that. Five, I can lose wet, more weight if I burn vegetables, the term vegetarian. Truth, weight gain is a result of excess calorie intake, which can come from vegetarian or non-vegetarian diet, depending on the food choices an individual makes. Six, eating meat will cause weight gain. Truth, lean meat in moderate quantity is good for health. It is a rich source of protein, iron, and zinc, which helps in building muscles and burning fat. So this vegetarian diet, I'm not for it. Because when the human uh, animal started eating meat is when he started growing his brain and his muscle body. Exercise cannot help if I have poor metabolism. Truth, exercise can help in burning more calories and improving the rate at which your body burns calories. It's a simple logical thing. You know, calories in, calories out. And that's the bottom line about weight loss. Drink water, drinking water can help lose weight. Truth, drinking water does help in burning calories. It keeps you hydrated and you can help you snack less. You know, this comes to a very interesting uh, thing that I just read the other day. If your pee is bright yellow, you don't have enough water. If it's clear, you're really real well hydrated. Lifting weight can buff you up. True, lifting weights can help build strong muscles, which in turn help in burning more calories. Now, you don't have to become muscle-bound, but just some light weights, do some lifting weights while you're watching TV or something, it'll make a big difference. Eating late at night causes weight gain. It does not matter when you eat, but how many calories you eat. Anything excess will be stored as fat in the body's sugars. So... Word to the wise, it doesn't matter when you eat, but what you eat and how much you eat. Now, my favorite is why you should ride a bike. It's a healthier heart will mean you live longer. You don't have brains like Einstein. You'll be relaxed and stress-free. Or you'll have brains like Einstein, sorry. You will be in a good mood. You'll be better fit. You'll be fitter than ever. You will have an absolute, abs awesome abdomen. You'll get an amazing waistline. You will have strong upper and lower legs. Now, I love biking because it really gives you all that. You're out in the sun, and it's the greatest exercise you can have. And also, if you're overweight, 
is very easy on the knees. And you could bike for an hour, and it would be equivalent of three hours of walking. So next time you get the opportunity, go out biking once the weather breaks. Also, make it part of your life. You'll meet great people out on the bike trail. You'll, I've met some wonderful people on our bike trail. So a word to the wise, water, light exercise, biking. Another thing that I enjoy is dancing. Go out and join a, uh, take a dance class. Do some ballroom dancing. I personally like Argentine tango. I also do swing dancing. I get out there, I meet lovely people, and it opens my world. So open your world to better your body and better your mind. Please share, like, and subscribe to our videos. You know, we put in a lot of work to create this information for you. So please share with everybody in your world. And also, if you're a veteran, we have special programs for veterans. And also on our other website, insuredmed.com, you'll get a lot of information if you're in that age group that you need Medicare. So please like, share, and subscribe. See you on the next video. Bye-bye.